Fuck it with the hoes. <laughs> the host. Hey, welcome back to the Party Show podcast, everybody. Hi. Uh, got my uh, guest Hi. in solitude here. Hi. Hi. Seventh Angelo. How you doing, man? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm great, man. I'm about to crack open this. Uh, I'm not going to say the name of the coffee. It's yeah. just like some uh, sponsored yeah. coffee that we just got to the crib. Oh. 10 grams of protein gives you jitters, uh, heart palpitations, uh, 40 grams of sugar, and uh, will. Uh, Ridiculous. Send an outrageous text to your mother-in-law in your name. I told you not to drink that. When <laughs> it's you, so when bad I, for you. When I first seen you have it, I'm like, yo, stop it. Hey, man. Look. No. And then the cap has another cap for a safety measure. No cap. Two cap. Two cap. It's two cap. That's how much cap it is. Jesus. I'm like a gremlin trying to get it open, fiending for coffee. No. That's not the way. It's okay though. Oh look, we use them. First time ever. First time ever, cause uh, people over here just like to throw trash on the floor. That is true. That's especially true. in the garage for no reason. Yeah. But, hey, we live and we learn. All right. It's so cold. I'm doing it. Doing it. What are you doing? doing it. He's doing it. What are you doing? doing what is he doing? doing He's doing it. Oh, he's turning the AC up. Turn it off. I turn it on because I'm hot. No. You're wearing shorts. You're fucking, you're fucking fatty too hotty. That's why I need to cool it down. Be hot. Yeah. No. yeah, it's not the time. And you're that. seventh Angelo. Of course you want. You gonna have seven <laughs> inches. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Hey, that's just our names, man. That's just our names. We just dealt. You it's know? just uh, my penis is hot. Did, did, what? This is very warm. Okay. <laughs> did you ever want to change your name? Like all had, the time. For real? All the time. Did you have like different like names? I mean, I had like the first name. I don't know if you remember. Do you remember my first name that I had on social media? No. Fadi Room. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You did. You did. I did you have did. that. You did. I don't know why. No, I actually, I do remember why. It's because. Um, no, wait. I'm talking about your actual name, like your birth name. Oh, I thought you. Because uh, no. we were talking about Fadi right. Tuati and right, 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 so I was like, right, all right. right. Yeah. Yeah. My actual name? Yeah. You know what's funny? I thought about it on the way back from the breakfast spot. That's hilarious. I was literally, what if what if I just changed one letter on my name? What 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 letter? Just the D to a V. Favi. Favi. Whoa. Kinda cold. That's crazy. Favi. Favi. Favio Foreign. <laughs> Favio Foreign. Whoa. I was thinking and I literally that was like my exact reaction. I was like, I'm gonna start telling people my name is Favi. 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 Favi, it baby. sounds like a. Come fuck it's like me. it sounds like Fadi, but with a Hispanic twang. Yes, Fadi. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Fadi, come fuck with me, baby. I mean, come Fadi. fuck with Fadi. Come fuck with Fadi. I'm gonna start saying that. Mm-hmm. My name is Fadi. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. And then like he's like, no, wait, Fadi. No, 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 no. You heard it. Wrong. <laughs> you heard it wrong. Why'd you Fadi? You heard Fadi? My name is fucking Fadi. <laughs> fuck. Crazy. So randomly they're gonna have like, oh, Fadi is considered the sexiest name on earth. Oh, yeah, <laughs> the did. day after I change yeah, it, you gotta change it. Right now it's just like Fadi. It means Messiah. Mm-hmm. You didn't believe me. We were drunk and we were talking about it. You were like, no, it's not what that means. I'm gonna look it up. Look it up. I didn't even look it up. It means Jesus. I didn't even look it up. But then it came to a point where it was just like, you know what? If he's saying this, yeah. Why yeah, would I lie? Fuck it. Fuck it. Why would I lie? Why would you lie about something like that? Okay. You know? Let's go crazy. Let's go crazy. And Angelo means angel. I think. It's angel, I think. Oh, messenger of the gods. Messenger, yeah. 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 I mean, it's pretty self-evident. Angelo? <laughs> it would be crazy if it, was, if it was like, yeah, Angelo means like pickup truck. Pickup truck. <laughs> it means pickup oh, truck. Fuck, I wish. The Ford F-150. Ford F-150. Angelo means <laughs> the Ford F-1, the Ford Raptor. Yeah, then I That's just, what Angela means. I just have big wheels all the time. 1996 Ford Raptor. Ugh. No, no 1996. <laughs> Are you even making 1996? I don't even know. 98 I'm, Ford Raptor. Probably not. No. I don't even think back then they made them. No? F-150s are just so big. Just like... It's a very Midwestern car, huh? Yeah. Speaking of Midwestern, we were at the gym the other day, and Angela just goes... I just saw the most Michiganese looking person ever. Michigan, and I look around Michiganese. and it's like a guy in a blue shirt that says Michigan with a rainbow on it. Mm-hmm. 
And I look at him and I'm like, you know, I've been in Michigan once and I'm like, yeah, that looks about right. Because his sideburns were so puffy. Side, very puffy. Just sideburns. very, and he was like young. He was like he our was, age, he was like, maybe. No, nah, he was a little bit older, but he was very like up up North Michigan. Up North Michigan? Yeah. Like, you know his exact street address. He looks yeah. like he's from like uh, Tennis Square. Tennis Square Ave. Tennis Square Ave. Right. Tennis Square Ave uh, yeah. Boulevard. He was He was wild. I couldn't believe what I was seeing for a minute, but I'm like, you know what? Whatever. He's at the gym. Go get your, you know. Go get your, get your gains. How do you feel about the gym? We've been we've been hitting the gym, man. No, it's very cool. It's very uh, proactive. I like I like it. It's it's like doing things. You know, it gets mm-hmm. gets everything going. It gives us reason. It gives me reason to just do shit. Do shit. And then after the fact, my endorphins are going crazy. Mm-hmm. So. Um, I just remember going like working out just normally before I would get put into like different mind states that I wasn't in before. Uh-huh. And now it's, I, I, I recognize that's happening like slowly. What kind of mind state do you feel like you get in? Um, just like more, like, just like more like, okay, let's get something done. You know, mm-hmm. let's get something done. Or even thinking about if I don't have anything to do done, it's just like, okay, what, what is upcoming that I could pro- possibly do? Like what, what, what could I do? You know, mm-hmm. what could I do? Um, literally, we came back, we just started fucking shooting ads, shooting fucking commercials. Yeah, shooting commercials over here. We're in a studio. Look yeah. at our studio. Somebody called Terry Lautner. We, yeah. we, we're going to need him for a minute. Yeah, we, uh, I like hitting the gym. Only thing I don't like about it is how tiny your penis gets when you work out. Oh, yeah, it's crazy. All the blood the just blood gets, is, like, uh, yeah. <laughs> just resourced to other to your muscles. Mm-hmm, like, we can't afford to upkeep a fucking a chub. A fucking... A we can't, bo- we can't oh. afford. We don't have the facilities for that. We need all the blood to the biceps right now. Bohemian. You don't need penis right now. There's, all imagine all the, working out with a boner. All the blood to the bohemian. <laughs> That's what it means. That's what bohemian means. That's what it means? Just long. All the blood. <laughs> <laughs> We've been saying Bohemian for a long time. Long time. He, has, he just has no idea what it meant. No, because I, I was there when it was uh, what, invented. When it was invented. And right. I was just like gone. I had an idea. Okay. First from the context clues. Okay. Obvious context clues. Okay, okay. Bohemian BBC. <laughs> I mean, it's Bohemian BBC. So it's BBC. Like BBC. BBC. Yeah. BBBCCC. So now we just say Bohemian. Bohemian. And like, okay. <laughs> It's really well, bohemian. Bohemian demon. It's really bohemian, but we say bohemian. So, yeah. Go crazy. Big cock. Speaking of big cocks, what you doing? How you what? doing? What? Man. <laughs> Seventh Angelo? You know, I was seven months premature. I thought you were about to say pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I was like, oh my God, what happened? No. You weren't seven months. You were two months premature. Oh, yeah. There we go. Yeah. That's crazy. That'd be crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. If you were born just a little embryo walking out. No, Guys, abortion is murder. Just That's running around. Insane. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Holding Holds up a sign instead of abortion. <laughs> Out the pussy. Out the pussy. It's very small too. Oh, I'm like an ant, and it can, I can hold like ten times my body weight. It is a big ass sign. Literally, I'm just running around with abortion. Is, whoa! Hey, that's crazy. What is he doing there? Yeah, abortion, abortion is murder. Abortion is murder. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the Friday Show podcast. <laughs> 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 this is where we're gonna start it from. <laughs> no, but no. Uh, two months. Two months. <laughs> two months. <laughs> yes, <laughs> must be two months. Pretty sure. Yeah. Very small, very small baby. You really wanted to get out of there. Yeah, man, I had to go. It's about <laughs> time, bro. This shit is getting, it's too tight in I, here. Yeah, man. Yeah. It was you were just crazy. growing and it was like, it's just me, is this place getting smaller? Like, you wrote, nah, nigga, I heard the bad bitches is outside. I'm like, I gotta grow yeah, up. I gotta step out. I gotta grow up. I gotta grow up, man. I gotta step out for the hoes. Did they put you on like ventilators as a like, baby or something? Yeah. yeah. Um, I think for like a week or four days or something. Like, I, it was, yeah, it was something like that. But then, like, I was healthy. And then my mom, she just fed me a lot mm-hmm. because she didn't want me to get small. Yeah. So she thought if I don't feed him, he'll go back to. Right, he'll revert to. Uh, like Benjamin Button, so he'll right. be smaller and smaller. Mm-hmm. So he's going to be retarded. What does she feed you? Uh, just a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of 
fucking the the you know the milk where you put the powder in the, uh, the water. Oh, a lot of that baby formula. A lot of baby formula. You weren't you weren't breastfed. Nah, man. Really? I, I don't think so. At all? I don't think so. Nah. Uh. Uh-uh. Damn, you was just on that. You've been from the from the out of the gate. You've been on them GMOs. I Man, I was out the mud. You know what I'm saying? Out the mud. So that's why I wanted to suck on titties so bad when I was in middle school. Cause I you ain't never had it. I ain't never of had course. it for real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. In middle school though. What you mean? That's a little early, bro. Eighth grade. Though. You're supposed to run away from. But eighth grade, that's like you know puberty. Like that's when it's like. All right, oh, okay. Well, know? did you hit puberty at the right time? Like when I you think, were supposed to? I think I did. Yeah. I think I did. I mean, like 14, 13 area. Okay. Yeah, that, that's pretty. That's you know, solid. I, I hear some people is like 12 and shit like that. I didn't hit it until I was like 19. What are you talking about? Bro, like 18, 19. I swear to God. Wait, but it's it's like stages. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like the whole growth of it. Yeah. Because you know? it lasts until like you pretty much 18, 19. I literally did not grow an inch until after high school. But what about facial hair? No. Or, or just hair like pubic no. hair? No. I mean, I mean, a little puberty hair, right, right, here and there, right, but right, right, right. but yeah, that growth spurt, it just it wasn't doing anything for me until, yeah, after. I mean, yeah. I think it's because I was just like anxious. I think I was like an anxious kid and I like just blocked my own fucking blessings. Uh, maybe. <laughs> no, I seriously, because when I was in high school, I was like just constantly like so insecure and just like down and like depressed and mm-hmm. shit like that. And that has an effect on your, uh, you know, hormonal uh, development. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. So, um, if you need any advice and you prepubescent, just chill out. Just chill out. Just chill out. You know what I'm saying not everything's so serious. Yeah. You know, some things is, but you know, other things is not that serious. You just gotta, you know, think your way out of it. But even that's a maze sometimes. You know. So. Yeah. But you make your own maze. Inception. Oh shit. You make your own maze. Anyways, you make your own cornfields. Okay. What? Yeah. I hate corn. Why? First of all, it does nothing for you. Second of all, it doesn't even digest. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean what I mean? <laughs> it doesn't digest like your body don't break it down? No. So why the fuck does you corn cans corn. have nutrition? You poop out corn. You said what? Why do corn cans have like nutrition facts? I don't fucking know. If you can't pick up any of the nutrition. Bro, it doesn't do anything for you. So it's like grass. Whoa. What do you mean? Like grass, you can't break it down. Like cows can break down grass, but you can't break down grass. Oh, yeah, nice. Unless you have something to tell me. Maybe I'm just... Are you breaking down grass? No, no. Are you no, shitting I, green? I've only ate grass like two times in my life. Really? Yeah. Why twice? What was the second time I mean, all about? The second time, it was just like, I kind of forgot the first time. But the first time, I was like... <laughs> you forgot smart. what it was like? Yeah, and it was like, I was like older. I was definitely like in high school. Oh, man. And I, I was like, <laughs> you know... But, um, you know, you ever tried to like grass whistling, but you take, yeah. take the thing. The, mm-hmm. the, uh, yeah. I did it on the way to the gym the other day. Oh, that's hard. That's hard. I didn't succeed. I tried. Okay. But because it wasn't grass, it was like this thing. But anyways. We don't have grass over here. There's no grass over here. All the grass you see over here is like fake. Fake. Fake, fake grass. That's just why, turf. That's why I kind of don't like it over here. But, you know, we deal with what we deal with. There was a jungle in LA. It would just be turf. Yeah, if it was a jungle, yeah, with turf, and instead of gorillas, it'll just be fucking Irving, and like. Uh, <laughs> 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 I love Irving. Yeah, I love Irving. Oh, oh. shit! The uh, um, fuck, man. I do. I would like to like. I don't know. <laughs> if I live somewhere else, no, I'd definitely be Switzerland for like like a good year. Just yeah, when are you making that Switzerland trip, man? Uh, uh, to live though, it will probably be older. I'd probably be 32 when I'm just tired of all the shenanigans. Like all the shenanigans in LA. Com- completely tired of every city, city life imaginable in the US, Miami, everything. City life is fun, but it's so shit. Yeah. It's so shit. It's fun. But it's fun, but it's so crappy. Yeah. It's kind of crazy. You, got, you stay with your dogs out, man. For my feet? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, and part of the reason is because like in Michigan, because I just used to walk on the ground, just walk on the ground in the grass and stuff. Uh huh. But I can't do that over here, because you know, L.A. streets. Yeah, turf. Um, you just turf. go out and yeah, feel turf. the microplastics on the soles of your feet, mm-hmm. and then you feel it in the soles of your life. Let's see, 
And it's, it's a slow effect. It's a slow effect. Can't ground. Can't ground for real. It's awful. We have somebody behind the camera over here. Days, you wanna you wanna say hey? Days just fucked the refrigerator. He just humped it. He humped it very hard. Hey, Days, you got you got some uh, something to say? Yeah, you're standing here with Days Out West. We're standing here on the corner of uh, Happy and Healthy. Okay. Um. Mm, happy and healthy. healthy. We're happy just happy and healthy. I hope you are too. Yes. Simple. I love it. That's very uh, I love nice it. of you to say. How are you all doing today? Don't do the pedophile voice. <laughs> <laughs> That's the creepiest oh, voice. Oh, that ever. voice is so crazy. Hey. Bro, it's, it, it's literally cursed it's speech. It's cursed speech. If it, the lights were off and you heard that voice, oh. Like, what <laughs> do you say do? something crazy yesterday. What do you do? <laughs> Bro, that voice is stupid. Can I see? Bro. Hey. I, I, <laughs> come here for a second. Bro, that voice is stupid. Come here for a second. Like, that's probably the scariest voice ever. It's so creepy. Because it sounds like a monster trying to imitate a, hu a human. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. the scariest things are things that are trying to imitate human. Like, the scariest figures are human looking. But they're off. And you can tell they're off mm -hmm. in the creepiest way. Mm -hmm. Like a face of a human, but it's too elongated, slightly too big eyes. Mm -hmm. You're like... What is that? It's an intruder. It's so creepy. And I think all the Japanese horror movies, mm -hmm. the reason they're so scary because they know that. They know that and their monsters are usually human looking, but there's something slightly off with them. The w whether it's the way they walk or uh, like, you know, some off that just like makes you uneasy. Yeah. Like an extra dick. Yeah. Well, like an extra dick. Like off like it's a little like i don't know, know how uneasy that would make me oh yeah you're used to that huh you're used to that so it would really make you uneasy. we were talking about two days the last uh, yeah, yeah, episode yeah. we were just yeah what was it yeah lunging for your penis oh yeah no but should be scary and you're right though i like imagine like a you know a fucking praying a humanoid praying mantis <laughs> a humanoid praying mantis. That's very scary. Like, yeah, imagine a human behaving like a praying mantis. Just. Right. Yeah. Grabs you like that. <laughs> no. Yeah. No, praying mantises, I like them. They're vicious as fuck. I like them. They just rip off the heads of like fucking bees. Not bees, but like. Yeah. I mean, beast probably. They're not, they're not gonna go. Oh, you're a bee. Yeah. I'm not gonna but the kill male, you. The male species in, in that species is uh, are 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 bitches. They're, they're small. Bitches. No, like after they mate with the female praying mantis, don't she, doesn't she like kill them? Yeah, he, he, she literally kills them instantly. And they let them. Yeah, simp. So they, they have sexual intercourse and then they kill them. Because because to feed the bait to have enough nutrition to, yeah. to feed the kids. Yeah. Damn, so he just gets one nut off There's in his one. whole life. Fuck it. <laughs> if, I feel like every time the prey man just goes, Oh, that felt really good. I wanna do this. <laughs> Actually or, I changed my mind. I don't want to die. That, that felt really good. Ah. Oh. Or he he's gets like, killed. Or he's like, I die in a pussy. The bitch nuts and she's all like <laughs> <laughs> Literally. That's the creepiest thing. Imagine that was like human Oh, like the human life cycle? I would have been dead. You would have been dead? Yeah. I would have died at the age of 12. I would have died. No, nah, not 12. I would have died in fourth grade. Fuck it. I would have died at the age of two. <laughs> <laughs> Who was touching you? <laughs> Who was touching Who touched you that ate you? Somebody sucked that baby's dick. That's great. Cuba Gooding Jr. Cuba Gooding Jr. Cuba Gooding Jr. Cuba Budding Jr. Cuba Budding Jr. Somebody suck the baby. Bubblicious. No, man, but like, yeah, he said that in the middle of a club, bro. And it was fucked up because I remember when I first seen the video and like I retweeted the video and then I put in quotations, someone sucked the baby's dick with laughing emojis. I lost 300 followers. I'm like, bro, like, un un unfollowed. I didn't say it. I didn't. I didn't say it. I just highlighted. I'm. This is just honest journalism. Literally, right? Right. 
Journalism. L- Here's information I'm bringing to the forefront. They're like, uh. See, people don't want to know the truth. People aren't truth seekers. People don't want to know that Cuba Gooding Jr. said that. After like winning an Oscar, <laughs> after winning an uh, Oscar, drunk as fuck in the club with a KFC chicken fucking bowl on his head. <laughs> so he the fucking pipe deck. He said that shit. I was like, yo. I wonder. Was there? I feel like there must have been a baby at that club. No, I think the full story was just like it was someone's like a, a uh, someone's birthday that he knew, and he was uh-huh. like a younger. He was younger. Oh, you know? oh. So he was okay. just like. It's his birthday. Somebody suck that baby dick. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. This was like a a young bull. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, But like, but he was like (laughs) teasing his eye that baby. Right, right. (laughs) But like, hey, he was he was trying to get his man some play. That's it. (laughs) Out of context is crazy. Out of context is crazy. This whole time has been out of context. Imagine you was in the club like and you just didn't know at all. You're like, I should have screamed that at the club. Yo, screamed it. Screamed at the top of his lungs. Every time I go to the club, I'm gonna say that. Even back in Sweden. I'm going to say it in English. Or Swedish, actually. <laughs> hey, everybody goes, what? What did this guy just what? say? Yeah, it's funny. You, just, you remember how you said your your uh, your people would be watching? What if you said that like in in Swedish right yeah. now? And then they're like... like <laughs> That's why I avoided it. Yeah. That's why I was like... I mean, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not even about to say it right now. I'm like, what did he just say? <laughs> What are they talking about? Is, no, we got to translate the whole podcast yeah, yeah, now because it's crazy. What happened? <laughs> yeah. Man. So like, yo, Fadi went to LA and just got weird, just man. got weird, it's bro. It's not the same person. Got Literally. Got a little bit too in the baby dicks. Baby, baby. That's what happens when you baby. spend too much time in Hollywood. Baby, baby. Let me yeah. tell you something about show business. They suck baby dicks. They do more. No, Hollywood's crazy, though. Hollywood crazy. We, we was just on Hollywood Boulevard, actually. Hollywood, we was walking to Star, Star, Hollywood Star. Oh, yeah. Fame shits. There's so many stars of people you just don't know. At like, all. who the fuck is this person? And people have been dead for like 30 years. How long has those stars been there? Like, how long? When did they make that a thing? I wonder when, actually. Probably like the boom. The what? Like, probably like the Hollywood boom. Like, when, when shit really started popping off in Hollywood. So, um, basically... <laughs> Probably fucking 5,000 BC 5, When Moses no. crossed the fucking Red Sea the first, the, four, the first star was Moses We will call this place Hollywood um, Hollywood Star you know funny? Thinking about how like if Moses If Moses were a star And then like he had his like He, he, he parted the Red Sea and whatnot They can't hear you from the, You gotta come here no, and I was say talking to you Well oh, I guess come on Yeah podcast, Yeah well come on Say, say, say your piece. So you could have had a microphone and been part of it. So if Moses parted the Red Sea, right, and then afterwards he he was like he was like washed up in Hollywood, and he was like a club rat, and he was going to all the clubs and stuff like that, and he was getting Start being a promoter for a little minute. Yeah, that didn't quite work out. And then what did he do after that? Uh, he, I mean, he's in and out of jail, like here and there, and then you see him. Uh, Trying to perform fellatio for money for drugs. And he's just a real washed up guy, man. That's what Hollywood does to you. 1958. <laughs> okay. 1958 was the. That's when Moses. All right. Was that late, though? I feel like it was around earlier. It said 1958. Okay. All right. I mean, but why? Why did you think earlier? I, I don't know. I just had the idea like that I mean, in the 20s. Like during uh, what the fuck? Yeah. Nah. Yeah, like Chaplin. Yeah, but like nah. No. Nah. You don't think so? Like during the um, the what's it called? The, the Roaring Twenties. At the head, like uh, right. You know, I don't think it was like. I don't think celebrities were were really like a a a a, a big presence, a big impact on the world as of that. You know what I'm saying? Like, when did celebrity become a thing, though? Um, I actually just seen it. Um, I should start clicking other links. Mm-hmm. I actually say 1848. To be honest, 1848. Who was the first celebrity? It was a girl. A girl? No, it was a man. It was a, man? It was a man or a girl? Something about being the first, uh, fir- first like socialite that was like, like it was basically like politics. 
Oh. The per- first person that, that was just really known. Like, yeah. Like in, I mean, I guess like about. the first celebrity would be like the first president. I mean, the first king would be wouldn't a celebrity. Be like, wouldn't it be like King Arthur or like Jesus or something? Because if you really... Jesus would be the first celebrity. You know? Still ongoing too. Where's the most where's influential? The, most influential <laughs> to this day. Nobody's being. Everyone knows Jesus. Yeah. Or it's yeah. Or either um, Jesus or Leonardo DiCaprio. Do you, a in this life, <laughs> either you're Jesus or Leonardo DiCaprio. It's either you Jesus or Leo DiCaprio. Yeah, we got fighter the Messiah over here. Yeah, and um, and we got Mister. Uh, don't date anybody above the age of eighteen over here. Hey. Hey. R. Kelly. Okay, R. Kelly. What is going on? What the fuck is we doing? What you didn't think we made the right decision to lock R. Kelly up? You want no. a free R. Kelly? No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no. I think he should be in there because I the audio tapes that I heard the, it's too was incriminating. Crazy. That shit was crazy. Because at, at first, I you was, can't talk your way out of that. At first, I was it's like, not like the Cuba Gooding Jr. thing. Yeah, yeah, it's like, yeah, oh, yeah, it was yeah, like a yeah, yeah, no, no. He straight up bro, incriminated himself. At first, I was like, ah, oh, then it got what y'all doing? Bro? He ain't do that. <laughs> but then I heard an audio clip. <laughs> of him talk about <laughs> what was the audio clip? <laughs> he was like, yo, give me that fourteen year old pussy. I love that fourteen year old pussy. And I'm like, <laughs> it's almost too incriminating. Of a audio clip, the that's is, insane. He liked to record everything, so it's like it's not too far fetched. He was like, like the, that he will randomly record that. He was like the first vlogger, really. Or yeah, Kelly, yeah, yeah, yeah. crazy. And he he had tapes on tapes on tapes on tapes. On tapes. Every two terabytes, a child fucking born, <laughs> fuck, and him just said. Why would just, you say that sentence? Why would you? It's like why bro, he was in the moment. You bro. you both know that she's forty years old. Why are you saying it? He was in the moment, bro. I don't know. That ain't crazy. I ain't gonna lie. He need to. He need to do some. Parents of that girl were also fucked up because apparently they had told her, "Hey, like go and tease him and like do like." Oh, I they're did, putting their I, girls. I just, I just seen that. daughter's I, I just life seen on that. the line. Make sure, you, make sure you put your uh, lip gloss on, not your lipstick. And sit on sure his that, lap. You sit on his lap. Touch him. I just seen all no, that entice shit. him. I was like, yo, make sure your hair right. Yo, crazy. oh my god, that's just crazy. What's mm-hmm. worse than Hollywood moms? Like moms that are trying to get their kids to either like be famous or, mm. you know, using their kids to, you know, take it, taking advantage of their kids for monetary gain. No. Hollywood moms got to be the worst thing on planet Earth. Just forcing their kids. They're like, my child is going to be a star. They're so talented. Trying to live out their dreams through their kids because they're failed. It's Hollywood fucked moms. It's fucked up. Fuck. Damn. The real enticers. My kid is talented. They deserve a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Why? Your kid is three. <laughs> what the fuck makes you think? What have they done to make them seem talented? They said the ABCs at the age of 18 months. Okay? They're acting like that kid was like Justin Bieber or some shit, singing and playing like hella different instruments at 10. Was Damn he playing Hell Instruments at 10? Yeah. That's what they said. Yeah. It was like the guitar and the drums or something like that. I think I saw a video of him playing the drums. Yeah. At a very young age. Guitar too. He was out there on the street corner just... Nee, 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 nee. And for 10, that's crazy. That guy has never lived... Like, after that age, after like the age of 10, he just hasn't had a normal life. Yeah. Just fucked It's up. actually insane. Like... It was at one point he could have had anything and everything and any girl he wanted at since like the age of 12. Since like that young age, like what the fuck does that do to the development of a human brain that got to rot your brain? That got to rot your brain because you have no normal interactions ever. It's always a money incentive in every interaction you have for somebody like trying to get something from you at all times in Hollywood. Yeah. Always some agent. Or even like across the world, you know. But think about it. Like since the age of like that young Anything you want. You want a Lambo here. You want a Ferrari here. You wanted a different color. We're fucking scrapping the other car. Here's a new one. Every day, just drive a new car. Here's a monkey. Leave it in Germany. Who gives a fuck? Yeah. 
He did that, by the way. He got a monkey and then she just forgot it in Germany. That's messed up. <laughs> Dang. I mean, I would have cracked so fast. <laughs> I would have I been, been like six months in. Since the age of 12, six months in, I'm getting anything and ever Drugs. Instant drugs. Just instantly doing what... I'd become R. Kelly at the age of 12. <laughs> I mean, that's not really R. Kelly. Reverse R. Kelly. Ah. Uh, yeah. yeah. You know, think about it. Like you, you, you go would, to a city, you sleep at a hotel. Actually, actually, it was, and then there's just a crowd of beautiful women outside, like, just waiting for you. What there, the fuck does that do to your brain? To, to be honest, there's a compilation of like that happening a lot to Justin Bieber, and like it was just very uncomfortable. Like you would just see it. Like it was just so crazy. Yeah, of course. Peace out. Peace, peace out, out, man. Peace out, man. Yeah. When are you back? All right. Yeah, it was crazy. I'm just like, yo, he's really, he's a victim right now. He's getting assaulted. Yeah, you saw the compilation of like girls just uh, flirting with him and like trying to kiss him, and he's like, eh. yeah, yeah. Even Katy Perry. Katy Perry. I think Kesha was it Kesha? Maybe. Maybe. Let me not say Kesha because she might be completely innocent. But yeah, yeah. a lot of a lot of those. But, but honestly, those women, they're probably also like, he is. Popping the fuck off, and my career is kind of stagnant. This will be everything for my career if I just kiss him, or if I get into something with this seventeen, yeah. maybe eighteen year old. It was, it was, it was looking. I mean, it was looking right, you know, for his career. And then he dropped journals. That's when he started to get into his like R and B, R and B, kind of like. If I was your boyfriend, the journals was crazy. drifting cars. Yeah, he's really he's really going into like you know the black scene, and then he the met Soldier Boy and Sean Kingston. I mean, he met Soldier Boy. He was already fucking with Sean Kingston. Then he met Soldier Boy, and then like just increased the value of Lean. They just took it off because he was drinking. He posted a picture drinking Lean with Soldier Boy, thinking everything was cool. But you know, he got all these little fucking kid uh, Caucasian fans, and they start causing an uproar. They Damn, leans off. Activist is gone. I didn't know that until like they told me about it. They're like, you know, the whole reason that Future made DS two thought it was a drought was because Justin Bieber caused a drought. But but that's that's the thing. He thought it was a drought. That's the thing about Future. He thought it was a drought because of Justin Bieber. But guess what? He gonna get the activist no matter what. Yeah, it's crazy getting a hold of the drugs no matter what. Yeah, that's that's a that's a hustler. Like a future is like by any means necessary, he's gonna get paid. Yeah. No matter what. Yeah. Before music, okay, it's gonna be drugs. We're gonna supply drugs. That's how little baby was too. Yeah, yeah, little baby too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. Hey, fuck it. We need to start selling drugs, man. Start selling drugs? Start selling drugs. What type of drug? It's anything, man. No. Any way that there is there is to make money, we just do it. No, you got just fucking do a huge you gotta disfavor pick, to you our gotta, community. You gotta, you gotta pick a niche, though. We gotta have a niche. A niche. Like, we gotta you know, have a niche. A certain drug. I feel like heroin addicts. I don't want to deal with crackheads. It's too much. Too much energy. Okay. Somebody who's like, uh, can I please have okay. a syringe? Okay. You know. Okay. You can beat the ass if it comes to it. Okay. Crackhead, that's that's a problem. Cokehead, yeah, problem. Yeah. They up there. They up there. I ain't gonna lie. And it's the thing with the heroin addicts, it's like let's move to Philly and just make it worse. <laughs> or is it maybe oversaturated that market? I think it's oversaturated. Yeah, it's oversaturated. But the thing man. is, you want to you don't want to ruin everyone anyone's life that hasn't ruined their life already. No, no. bro, we're making money, bro. No, nah. let's go to Long Island. Fetty Wap. Fetty Wap, man. He's out the streets. They got his ass. Fan, no. It's a is a window where we can make money here. Shit, shit. Just opioids. Opioids. What, what kind they say? I was on opioids. We was geek, bro. <laughs> we was geek, bro. Chill out, bro. <laughs> oh my goodness, Kanye did say he was on opioids. He was on a lot of opioids. Six. Then he had, and then he had like different opioids. Six different opioids. Six different opioids. That's what he said to TMZ. Really. I didn't Six know that opioids. I knew he was like on some, but I don't know opioids. They're like they turn me into a zombie. That's kind of creepy though. 
Mm. Everyone around you trying to tell you, like, you're medicated, stay medicated. And then that doctor came out and, like, sent him that weird-ass text. Yeah. It was like, I fucking, I'll make sure that they put you in a a facility. Like, what was it? What did he say? Like, a mental institution. And you'll never get out of there. And then it's back to zombie land forever. Playing with your kids are never going to be the same. Like, that was the most evil shit I've ever heard someone trying to press someone over. You'll never... Play with your kids the same. You're being a mental institution, drugged up for the rest of your life, walking like a ghost. Yeah. That's insane. That's a doctor? I would have killed him. That's a doctor? Doctor dead. That should have your medical license, like, removed so fast. And you should, like, get prison time. Like, that kind of threat? What the fuck is going on in Hollywood? You know. We know what's going on in Hollywood. You know the truth. But hey, fuck it. Freaky times. Fuck USA. <laughs> fuck USA. Fuck America. I'm out of here. Switzerland. Somewhere. Somewhere in Europe. Hey, you going to Europe? Oh, yeah. You going to Europe this summer? Looking I forward am. to it? I am. Looking forward to it? Uh, Yeah, kind of. What part are you looking forward to the most? Because you haven't been overseas. Probably, um. Because I know Greece is gonna be a lot. But fuck with mm-hmm. my girlfriend. She just she's a lot. <laughs> she's a lot. But Ireland, what girl isn't? Ireland is what? What girl isn't? What do you mean? You said is a lot. My girlfriend. You said that. She's a lot. You said that. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but I'm saying what girl isn't? Oh, what girlfriend what? isn't. Um, you're right. That's every girl. Maybe. Every girl. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Man. You're right, actually. No, you're right. You're right, you're right. I'm thinking about all my relationships. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, it's, they've always been a lot. <laughs> except, except one. Except one. Except one. Yeah, except right. one. But the one. The one. <laughs> the one. She listens to this. She's like, who is that? Nah. Seventh. Mr. Seventh. Um, but yeah, you're looking forward to Greece. Um. Yeah, I'm looking forward to Greece. No, I'm looking forward to uh, Ireland. More than Greece, the islands. Yeah, because I'm uh, oh, island boy. No, Ireland, Ireland. Oh, Ireland, Ireland. It's an island. <laughs> it is an Ireland right, right. island. No, yeah, because I'm be my grandparents, and you know they're gonna be chill as fuck. Are you doing the Greece first? No, nah, I'm going to Ireland, Ireland first. first yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, grandparents. That's so random that you have grandparents in there. No, they're going there, but they don't live there. Okay. Yeah. Why are they going to Ireland? Because uh, my grandma wants to go. Really bad. She's always wanted to go to Ireland because she thinks she's fucking Irish. <laughs> but then, but then you know it's crazy. My grandma thinks she's no, Irish. Listen, you know it's crazy. Grandma, you're black. <laughs> <That's> crazy. <laughs> <laughs> my my fucking sister just did a fucking test at the ancestor thing. Yeah. Why is she ten percent Irish? <laughs> Bro, like that really sets your grandma. Up. See, see, see. I told y'all, bro. That shit's crazy, though. <laughs> and we're like, damn, grandma. Like, where's right. this shit coming from? Like, what? You should do one of those tests. I mean, duh. It's gonna be nah. a little different from your sisters, probably. Yeah, it is, but like, a lot of Germanic in you. But like, I don't know about you know and storing over, your data, handing over. You know, yeah, you can opt out the data. Them storing, you don't trust it. I feel that. Like, <laughs> hey, like, don't do that. Hey, don't do that. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that, bro. <laughs> it just does it. Like, what the fuck? Like, oh, huh? this valuable data that's just <laughs> mapping out your entire DNA sequence. You don't want us to keep it? Sure. Like, we're not going to keep it. Bro, that's oh, crazy. The, yeah, it's in the agreement. Sure. We're not going to keep it. We're just going to delete it. That shit's insane, bro. Like, no. Yeah, they got my data stored. Yeah. I can opt out of them, you know, keeping it. I can make them yeah. delete it. The thing is, I don't really care. They're not going to delete it. <laughs> <laughs> They're not deleting that. They're holding on to that shit like it's the fucking holy grail. But the reason I also did it just because, like, if they store my information, what if I need to retrieve that information and I know one place, one bank that has it? You know, what if I need the information of my DNA sequence for something like for some future medicine? They're like, hey, if you uh, at what? the age of 20 sequence your DNA, we can actually make you younger. We can restore it based on like what your previous information was. If you have that, because like, uh, you know, chromosomes get like um, 
damaged as you get older. So it's like the younger undamaged DNA. I'm gonna be like, I actually do have my exact Wait, sequence. Damaged? What I just, yeah, because so. your DNA jam damages your DNA uh, damages like every time your cells like uh, multiply. So I should get an extra chromosome right now. You this should have an extra chromosome just in the back pocket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You should get some extra chromosomes okay. infused in you. Okay. You, you'll get a little larger forehead, but that's okay. You know. Yeah, that's a good trade. Yeah. It's, it's a, a great, good trade. Great, great trade. trade off. You'll be, be happy too. Be a Barbie doll. You'll be so it. happy. Cool. All the time. Mm -hmm. Super horny for some reason. Mm. You'll you'll instantly mm. like John Cena and boobs a lot. Sounds like a good life. Good trade off. It's yeah. a great trade off. Sounds like I don't have to care about. I'm a anything. happy twelve year old that likes boobs and John Cena. I'm not really worried about it. Not worried about it. Have you ever seen a homeless Down syndrome person? No. That's it. I haven't. <laughs> wow. <laughs> they're, they're they're well off. That's great. What were we talking about? Um, Chromosomes, DNA, stored DNA. data, Ireland, ten percent Irish. Yeah. Autistic. Autistic. <laughs> Down syndrome. Something yeah. Like that. Yeah. You're looking forward to uh, Ireland. I am. I am just to, just to relax, man. Just to just yeah. How long are you in Ireland for? Uh, I think like three, four days. Three, four days. Oh, that's not at all long at all. Yeah, yeah I'm not about to. Because like yeah, my grandparents are going on a cruise there. Oh, and I'm just flying in. Yeah, yeah. And like yeah, the what city? Uh, Dublin. Dublin. You, you coming back with a fucking Irish accent? Oh, Inger, Inger, Ergen. <laughs> it's uh, English. What are you? <laughs> <laughs> you just spoke Swedish. What? They speak English over there. Inger, <laughs> Inger, Ergen. Nah, bro. I'm saying that shit as soon as I step out of the plane. <laughs> just scream I'm that at the airport. Dublin. Inger, Inger, Ergen. Inger, Inger, Ergen, Dublin. You see Conor McGregor, the first thing you do. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck is wrong with this guy? <laughs> I'll, knock you the fuck yeah, I'll knock you I'll the fuck out. I'll fight any man. Mate. I'll fight any man. <laughs> <laughs> no, I need an accordion and a, and a kilt, bro. This is about to go stupid. Yo, if you a just uh, up a kilt pick oh, on yeah. a gram, you fuck have it. to just stand up. Yeah, Kills. yeah. The with, with the socks, hanging? with the socks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy. That'd be dumb. That'd be dumb. Like I'm, I'm where they got kilts. You're like, just the tip is just like swinging us down the my tip. My penis. Yeah. My penis. Just yeah, just like the kilt. The kilt. Yeah, just like a little bit. It's like, but like they have to really zoom in to see it. But it's just like a slight tip. I'm going hard. Quotation. Zoom in. <laughs> 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 just caption it. Zoom in. Just zoom in. Zoom in. Zoom in. Zoom in. Find out how hard I get. This just the this just the, the pre the pre the pre loop. This is the pre cum. The pre cum. <laughs> so I, I don't know. I don't, yeah, I don't know if I I'll do that. And then from uh, Ireland, you're going to Greece. No, no, no. Come back here. Yes. And then Greece. Yeah. When is when is your Greece trip? In June. June. I'm going in July into Ireland. Oh, so you're going after the Greece trip. What? June, July? Oh, wait, no. Yeah. No, 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 no. Other way around. My fault. This man is going to get lost in Europe. He's yeah. not making any of his flight. He's so it's confused crazy. already. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I only miss the flights when I'm like at home and then I go. But like if it's like a connecting flight, I yeah. do not miss that shit. Don't, Fuck don't the fucking yeah. be trapped in Utah. Fucking <laughs> trapped in Utah. Fucking trapped Salt Lake City. Nevada. Fucking trapped in Kansas. Our right, Kansas. Arkansas. I had a layover in uh, Vegas, and of course, they have fucking slot machine yeah. by your gates. Mm -hmm. Yep. Crazy. Stop being such a cliche. Man. I mean, <laughs> what can you do? I might go go to uh, Vegas to get some parlays going. Some parlays? <laughs> well, you can't get parlays, online parlays? I mean, you can, but you ha you can't uh, bet. You can, not You can, but it's illegal. It's you can illegal? Only, you, you can only bet. Um, They actually have, like, bro, my... Uh, this other lady I was messing with, um, she was actually a bartender of illegal, illegal po poker uh, gambling. Uh, like illegal, illegal poker games. Yeah. What the hell? Oh. Is that my phone ringing or is it yours? Uh, no, that was mine. Oh. Yeah, that's mine. Okay. Um, oh, that's the parlays. <laughs> that's the parlays coming Parla in? Parlay predictions. Um, but no, yeah, like, yeah, it's illegal here. So a lot of people go to Vegas to gamble. 
and like just place bets. So I'm pretty sure people have like placed parlays here. Though. Right, but that's like you have to get. Those are like, oh, this this person is gonna get uh, more points. Like he's gonna average oh, okay, this many yeah, points. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Or in the first quarter, or like whatever. shoot the first shot. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. But, what but is you it? can't just bet on straight games. Oh, legally. who's gonna win the game? Right. You can't what? Do that. I don't know. It's what I, I, dumb I, law? I literally don't know. Don't know. That's a bill that was passed. I think, like I think it's just, just lawmakers a, did that. Put a cap on California because it's just like if you could do everything here, you can already smoke. You could fucking, you could do a lot here. Yeah, you could do a lot. So you I don't want to make California too great, right? right. And it's already not. Yeah, just go. It's outside. not great at all. Go outside, go downtown. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, so you're yeah. Uh, making that trip in uh, June to Ireland. Yeah, but I want to go to Vegas, though. You want to go to Vegas? Like I said, I want to get I some. I told you, man. I want to get some. We could have made that trip to Vegas. We would gone to that uh, Bet, visual no, art I ha- thing. I had to do some stuff, though. That was, yeah. so, that was so, like, it was like right was, there. Right, right there. Okay, wait. But we could have done it, and it would have been fun, and we would have gotten in for free. It would have been fun. It would have been fun, but you would have had to let me know beforehand so I we know. could figure out a route there yeah. in the first place. I knew last minute, too. So I, as soon as I knew, I was like, hey, y'all trying to get into some bullshit? But it was literally the day before. Yeah, day before pre cup. But uh-huh. no, Vegas, Vegas is cool, though. You can literally drink anywhere. Like, if you have a bottle outside, it's public intoxication, you can go to jail. But An they, open bottle? Uh, Yeah. What if I didn't drink it? Doesn't matter, buddy. You're going can I have it visible in my hand? No. I have to have it in a bag? Well, yeah. Yeah. Is that why they give you the black bags, like, they not see-through? I mean, not re- I think all they have is black bags, for real. But it's a liquor store. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, for the most part. Because majority... Most likely you're going to buy some alcohol going out. That's so. not the case in Sweden. For real? Yeah. It's like Vegas. <laughs> it's like Vegas. So you could just drink. Yeah. Outside, like, a, if I got, like, a, you know. Yeah. I mean, I think you drink a beer outside. Yeah, you can drink a beer outside. No, like, here. Like, I think you could drink a beer outside. But, like, hard visibly, uh, can you be visibly drunk? People are visibly drunk at night all the time over there. Okay. But like Now that you're saying it I'm like Well you don't see people Just drinking straight out of A fucking bottle of vodka It's like more But I think just people private. Don't drink a bottle of vodka Yeah Not me in Vegas I'll tell you that Yeah I mean I don't drink Well it. fuck vodka I don't drink, Yeah I don't drink vodka There's some Swedish girls That came to the club And uh And I'm like uh, Do you have any vodka When they came to our table I'm like no, we have tequila. Mm-hmm. This is what we do in California, and right. I told them that in Swedish. Mm-hmm. This is you want you. Want, this is the California experience. We're not in Sweden anymore, mm-hmm. honey. We're not doing the vodka shit, mm-hmm. that cheap shit. You do reposado, mm-hmm. casa amigos, mm-hmm. yes. and you say it with that accent too. Yes, yes. it was so funny because like um, I just saw them, and I was just like, we were in our section, and I was just like, just waving, I was like, come here. Mm-hmm. And then they come over, like, uh, one of the girls, and she was so fucking pretty. They told her, you, you know, you look like, uh, uh, what's her name? The actress, the blonde actress, uh, Wolf of Wall Street. Her name oh. is slipping my mind. Oh, I don't know who you're talking about. Margot Robbie. Margot Robbie. Yeah, Margot. And he was like, you know, you look like Margot Robbie. And she was like, oh, my God, really? And I'm, like, talking to her, and she was like, yeah, we're from Sweden. And she's saying it with her Swedish accent. Mm -hmm. And I'm, like, as soon as she said that, Mm -hmm. and her friends, who are also pretty, like, around her, one of them were fat, but that's okay. Um, But as soon as (laughs) she was, like, as soon as she said, yeah, we're from Sweden, I literally went, in my mind, I'm, like, <laughs> I'm about to charge up Riz. God has just touched out. <laughs> I literally went, I literally in my head, I went, as soon as she said that, I was like, <laughs> too easy. <laughs> too, too easy. easy. It's over with. It's yeah. over yeah, with. You lock in, baby. I swear yeah. to God. Come here. I was just like, come as here. As soon as I fucking threw the fucking come here. fishing gun in the water, <laughs> I put her up, I was like, 
Yeah. 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 It reel it in. Yeah. Reel it in. It's bad. I was like, fuck. Wet city. Oh, yeah. As soon as she said that, she was like, Malmö. I was like, Phew. this is too easy. I'm this Swedish. Time. Okay. She said, no, you're not. Uh huh. I'm Swedish. Yeah. Say something in Swedish. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> What'd you say? What did you say? I need, I need, what did you say? What did you say? What did you say? <laughs> I, bro, I looked her in the face. I was like, Yo, I'm from Yotabori. Which means I'm from Gothenburg. As soon as she heard me Ooh. say that, as soon as she heard me say those words, yeah. the Swedish, she was like, Ah, uh, yeah, see? She, <laughs> she didn't know what to do. She didn't know what to do. Because she was like, crazy. oh, these Americans just like sitting at the table. She was like, no way there's a fucking Swede guy. Like, what the oh, fuck bro. are the odds? She was like, <gasps> she literally did that. Crazy. She looked at me like, crazy. She taps her friend, Magda, Magda, <laughs> he's Swedish. <laughs> How does Svens? How does Svens? She was like, what? <laughs> I'm Swedish. <laughs> I'm, I'm Swedish. Swedish. Yeah, I'm Swedish. Yes. I saw Spain Swedish. She was like, oh my God, they bring more friends. It's like five girls. She's like, oh shit. It's five Swedish girls in our section right now. <laughs> and then I'm like, yeah, yeah, come to our section. Come to our section. It's so cramped in our section. At what point? It was. It was very. It was so cramped. It was, it was like so many girls that they were like blocking the walkway. And the security guard, he was like, he was seeing this. He was like, oh, there's this play over here. You got so many girls. But it's a problem because we're blocking the walkway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, hey, play. Uh, yo, like, mm-hmm. um, I'm a security guard over here, man. Uh, how you doing, bro? Uh, can you just tell the these girls over here, like, to move, like, because they're blocking the there, walkway. Yeah, like, yeah. And I was like, yeah, 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 I got you. I got you. And he was like, appreciate that, brother. I'm a security guard. Like, whenever you need something, just let me know. You like, you straight. Yeah. I'm like, I right, man, appreciate it. And then yeah. as soon as that happened, I was like, okay, we must have all seats off. We blockade back in. I was like, we're blocking the way. We got to move. And like, just got them all in the section. Literally, it was literally. like so cramped. People couldn't move. Oh, my God. You're like a dog herding in sheep. <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> literally, some fat butt sheep. <laughs> I was like, all right, let's move on to the section. <laughs> let's move on to the section. Let's go. So fat shit. Yeah, man. I got him oh, up in there. Goodness. I had days talking to a girl. She was like, was like, yo, I was talking to this girl. Her name was Magda. I got her Instagram. It was cool. <laughs> and then uh, I got the number of like the Margot Robbie looking girl. And then I had another girl that I think she was talking to uh, six for a second. Mm. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, they're all in there. And then she pulled out her vape and I was like, Started vaping. She was like, "Yeah, I thought it was like kind of corny at first and sweet or something." She was like, "But then I started doing it because everybody around me was doing it." Like, let me hit that hit her vape, and then she put it back in her purse. I'm like, "All right, mm-hmm. <laughs> it's done, mm-hmm. it's over, go, <laughs> <laughs> shoo, shoo, leave." Um, yeah, but they left, and then uh, when we were leaving, they, they were leaving at the same time. They're like, "You following us?" I'm like, "Shut up." And then we went home. And then I almost fucking, when I, I was fucking fucked up and just dancing in front of Jack's car, I almost fucking bumped my head on Jack's car. I don't know if you remember that. Oh, yeah, I do remember that. Yeah. I do remember that. Pavement is a little uh, wonky over here. Yeah. In California. That was cool, though. That was a fun night. That was, that was funny. That was a fun, fun night. That was crazy. I go Yeah. It was cool. That And it was like house music. It wasn't no dreams and nightmares. I know you weren't looking forward to that. Man, no. No, it was house music. I liked it. Yeah, there was coming. There was coming close to a remix. Fucking dreams and nightmares. Though. Yeah, that was. It was uh. I get you though, like because you hear dreams and nightmares every night you every, go out. You time. cannot escape you it. You Can't escape it, bro. You and can't. it's not just gonna come out once in a night. So you can't like I'll come after ten thirty. Sometimes it happens two times. Yeah, like they space it out. Make sure if you miss it in the beginning, you get to hear it bro. again. And everybody acts like it's so lit. Even the turn up part of it is I like, refuse to believe that it's so lit. It's not lit. Bro. It's not that lit. Back then it was. But now it's like, all right, bro. Like, it's overplayed. As soon as it dropped, like as soon as the beat changed, it, yeah. you live it for like four seconds. It's over with. It's over with. It's over with. Hold on, wait a minute. What up, And then that's it. That's it. That's it. And you're like, all right. Now we wait four minutes for the next song. Literally. Literally, they played the whole thing. Yeah, but they, they didn't do that. It was some house, some house music. I'm glad. It was dancing music. I was in everybody's like, hmm, okay. This is nice. Yeah. This is nice. Did you get lit? 
I did a little bit, a little bit. I don't know. To the, that day, I just couldn't. It was like half a four I, local. I couldn't get drunk that day. Why not? I don't know. I mean, we had like a half half we a four local. We've been local. crushing four and locals. Then I had like three shots, and then I had the rest of the four loco, and I still wasn't drunk. I don't know what was going on. Hey man, you're gaining weight. Yeah, you're gaining weight, you're building that muscle. You're metabolizing the alcohol pretty fast. It's gonna, bro. You at 190 pounds, you're gonna need like two bottles of Mayomis just to fill a bus. <laughs> two big bottles. Yeah. Hey man, fuck it. That's how, that's, how, that's how it's gonna be. Fuck it. Fuck it. That's just gonna. Fuck it. I'm gonna get them gains. You're gonna get them gains. You're gonna become Pound Town. All right. 190 pounds. That's not a pound, Pound Town. Girl's gonna leave me. Girl's gonna leave me. That song's with my rounds. That's, that song's hilarious. I'm not gonna lie. It is hilarious. I'd rather hear, hear that song than Dreams and Nightmares. Yeah. In the club. But I'd rather not hear either. No, I would rather he, I would rather hear that because then you get you get to see like, okay, what bitch could do like okay. What yeah. What? You know? You know like what okay. Cause you see all the oh girls yeah, yeah. It's like, I know what you mean. Okay, mm. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, right for sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I see you. All right. I see it. Yeah. Cool. Gotcha. I heard you. Noted. Duly noted. I'm about to bust. How did you feel about Inglorious Bastards? You watched it for the first time yesterday. How did you like it? Good. It was pretty good. You liked it. Quentin Tarantino always has a thing where just like everyone dies. (laughs) (laughs) He always has a thing where everyone just it just has an unfortunate fucking future. And it's always like the most preposterous, like avant garde way to die. Like it's actually very. It's like a child. It's like he just wants to see destruction, boom, explosion, and things. But not in a Michael Bay sense, in a more like gory, you know, sense. Instead of explosions, it's rather, you know, people get shot up and killed and ah! It's kind of childish, but in a fun way for adults to enjoy. What what was the last time he made a movie? What was the last movie he made? I think it was um, um, the one with, um, what's the name? The one with uh, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio and Brad Pitt. Um, oh, wait. That just came out, huh? No, that was like a few years ago. What was it called? What the fuck? I think I know, exa- I think I know exactly what you're talking about. And, they're Hollywood, and then they have like the... Um, uh, what's the name of that guy? Every fucking name is slipping my mind right now. Damn. That coffee is fucking me up. Hey, man. Um, no, but it's, uh, it's, it's... Hold on, hold on. I'm going to come up with it. The, um, you know the guy that was uh, telling people to kill others in the 60s and the CIA was like letting him? What was his name? I have no I fucking idea. Project, what was the name of that thing? Uh, MK Ultra? MK Ultra? MK Ultra when they were trying to like... That's what it's about? I mean, it's not... It's like hints of that because the guy that they were controlling... They're um, controlling someone in the movie. Not the CIA because they're not going to talk about it, but it's about that guy. Okay. Because... I th- believe it was in the 60s. Oh, he got controlled by... AK. They did MK Ultra on him. Yeah. Him. Oh. What was the name? Because he kept being released. Like, he got caught, and he, they kept, like, releasing... The CIA was, like, kept telling the judge, like, you got to release this guy for some reason. Like, he would do, like, shit. And they taught him how to, like, persuasion tactics. And he persuaded, like, hippies to go and kill, like, these actors in Hollywood. And that actually happened. Wow. But what, he had, like, started a cult. Oh. What's the name? Oh. Nah, it's, I'm too, cool with this. It's, it's, it's so many cults that fucking happen that's like famous as shit that like I don't I don't really know because you're not talking about that star cult thing like um uh, uh what's it called Lil Uzi made the album about it no no not Heaven's Gate not oh Heaven's Gate. okay Something else. is that the same one with the Cortezes uh hold on what's the name uh let's see Movies. First of all, the name of the movie is uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Yeah, I've seen that. I didn't see it, but I, I ran across it before. Yeah. And uh, that's what the movie is like around. Yeah, it's like in the 50s television, and that's around the time where um, 
um, those act that actress was killed. That actress and a uh, actor was killed because of this uh, cult leader that was telling people to kill people. Hold on, I'm gonna find him. Um, I'm gonna watch that movie. I'm gonna watch that movie. I'm gonna watch that movie. I'm with my dogs like Scooby. She got breasts. I'm touching on her boobie. Hey, keep freestyling until I find this. Shit. I'm running from a rabbit. I'm Looney Tooney. Um, I'm in the cut. I'm in the boomies. Uh, I was young. She tried to groom me. I'm in a Hellcat. You can't zoom me. I sweep him up. You can't broom me. Okay, first of all, it's Charles Manson. Oh, Charles Manson. Oh, yeah. Wait, what the fuck? Yes. Wait, what the? He's still alive. Is he? Didn't he die recently? Bro, little Uzi Love. Tra- no, he's dead. He's dead. I'm thinking about somebody else. No, wait, bro. Not 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 the singer, or musician. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah, Charles yeah. Uh, Miles Miles uh, Manson was, was an American criminal mu- musician who led the Manson family, a cult based in California in the late 1960s. Uh, oh, some wow. of the uh, members committed a series of nine murders at four locations in July and August. Yeah, and he died in tw- 2017 in Bakersfield, California. Um, wow. And he carried out several notorious murders in the late 60s. This is the guy. This is the guy. Oh, wait. I think I'm... And uh, he killed, like, uh, yeah. a famous uh, actress. Absolutely. And the movie is about that. Um, but that's, like, the B story. The A story is, like, this guy trying to... Um, this guy trying to... Um, um, he's, like, failing as an actor. He's, like, top of his game. But he's, like, he's going down. Like, Hollywood is, like, going in another direction. They don't care about that look and that style anymore. Mm-hmm. Um, but, but the B story is that, you know, while all that is happening, that this is also going on and let me see what actress, the name of the actress was, uh, Sharon Tate, Sharon Tate, she was killed and she was like 20 something, 26 years old. Dang. Yeah. She was a pretty gal too. Dang. Pretty gal. Not the pretty bit. Oh, Sharon Tate, no! man. Yeah, that's how America felt no! in the sixties. <laughs> no, it's always a little more sad. Oh! It's always a little more tragic when pretty humans die. No. <laughs> it's always a little more tragic when uh, pretty women die. That's crazy. <laughs> Dang, that's messed up, bro. Tap yeah. it. <laughs> America was crying. Yeah. That's crazy, man. It was her and like white yeah. blonde hair woman. They were throwing a See, this fit. was this was like the oh yeah the headline. That's fucked up. Actress is among five slain at home in Beverly Hills too. Oh, yeah. But but in the movie in the movie it goes down the Quentin Tarantino way like the where with, with her foot in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> like that that's Quentin Tarantino. He's a freak. What movie bro. was it that he was like doing that? Uh, 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 dust from dust till dawn. And what did he do exactly? Uh, Some weird shit? It was just like a, you know they were in a bar and then they had a showgirl come out and she was like half naked. I forgot the uh, actress. She was actually very pretty too. Yeah, um, she was. No, she was bad. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> and yeah, she's just like you know doing all that shit. And then Quentin Tarantino is like he's like posing as like his his actor in there. He was just like a random like guy in the bar. Yeah. He's just like, or or she like. She like told him to come up mm-hmm. and he walks up and she pours like alcohol down her body and then literally puts her foot in his mouth so he could catch the alcohol dripping down her body. And and he inserted himself in that movie to be that guy right. that gets the alcohol through her foot. Mm-hmm. This freaky frog. Freaky frog. <laughs> freaky frog. And then even on Inglorious Bastards when the uh, old girl died. Her foot was just like as she's like in strangled. Her foot. That's, the last thing you see from her is her feet. One foot, it's on. It's it's like no shoe, and the other foot has a cast on it. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Quentin, something else. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I think we're good on time though. Uh, we're gonna switch over to the Patreon, folks. Oh. We're gonna keep talking about the Charles uh, Manson family and uh, some MK Ultra shit. Yeah. Some really suspicious stuff. Spooky, uh, spooky, spooky stuff. Thank you guys so much for uh, listening, and uh, peace out. Subscribe to the Patreon. Please. Bye.